Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about different HTTP methods and their significance. So before we proceed, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then I would request you to do it. And alternatively, you can also check the other videos in my channel. So let's proceed and explore the different HTTP methods. So first method that we are going to look is POST. So as you know, in every HTTP invocation, we always have two actors in, in that play. One is the client who sends the request and the other one is the server who accepts that request, process it and sends back the response to the client. So let's assume a scenario wherein the client wants to create the student record on the server side. So to creation of this new, res new resource, this POST method is used. So client will send the POST call to the server and in the message body or in the payload, it will send the details which are required to create that resource. What server will do? It will accept that request. It will do the processing. For the sake of simplicity, I have added the database, but in reality, the things are pretty much complex than what uh, it is being shown here. So uh, for the sake of this example, it will create that record into the database and it will send back the response to client with the HTTP status code as 201. So 201 is used to uh, signify that the resource has been successfully created so that client will know that their request was processed successfully. Now two key things to note about this post call is the post call is not idempotent. So the meaning of item potent call is that you fire the request any number of times and every time you will get the same response. But in this case, if client sends the post the same post request again, he will not get 201 response because this entry is already created on the server side, which means he might get the HTTP status code signifying that the record already exists or he might get even error back in the response. So the point is post is not item potent and the next is it is not safe. So what is the safe HTTP method? The safe uh, HTTP method means the method which does not alter the state of a resource on the server side. In case of post, it uh, creates the new resource on the server and that is definitely considered as a state change and hence post is not considered as safe. Now let's move to the uh, next HTTP method. So next we are going to talk about get. Now get is used to retrieve the resource from a, ser from a server. Again, we have client and server. So in this case, client will send the get request to the server. And in case of get request, there would not be anything in the payload of the request. In request URI itself, the client will signify the filtering criteria against which the resources needs to be picked from the server side. So now server will read this uh, URI and it will fetch the record from the database and it will return back 200 response to client. And along with that, it will also send that uh, the, uh, the resource back in the response, which in this case would be the uh, employee or the student record, which is getting returned. Gate call is item potent because unless and until uh, the, so there is any change on the server side due to post or any other call. So in, in absence of any such situations, irrespective of how many times you make this gate call, every time you will get this 200 response and the same payload back in the response because getting is not going to alter the resource on the server side. Hence, this gate is item potent. Similar way, it does not alter the state of resource. Hence, it is also the safe method. So let's move ahead and check the ne next HTTP method. So head is uh, one more HTTP method which is not frequently used as head, but it's always good to know from interview perspective. So gate is basically used whenever we don't want to retrieve the complete body in the response and we just want to retrieve the headers. So head is usually used in the scenarios when you wanted to see if there is a change in the resource or the server side. So again, client will send the request and it will send the uh, head request to server and in this case server will return the 200 response and only the headers. So as I said depending on the headers client will know if the resource has been changed 
uh, at the server side or not it is used quite frequently in case of caching also so if there are any changes uh, which are denoted back from the header names then client will do the actual gate call for example the response header might include the payload size or it might include the last modified date kind of a header so those things will tell client that there has been change happened at the resource level and in that case they will proceed they will proceed with the gate call so that in case of bigger payloads head will save lot of bandwidth and it will make your overall application fast again head is item potent and as there are no changes on the server side it is safe also so the next http method is put put is used to completely replace the resource on the server side so again coming to our example as a part of this uh, put invocation client will send the request to the server and it will send the uh, the payload to the server which will contain the new attributes of the student record now whatever attributes are sent by the client in this invocation those will be completely replaced on the server side and accordingly it will return the http response back to the client the bottom line is put is used to completely replace the resource there is no way of partial update because partial update is handled as a part of patch call that we will discuss in few minutes but at this point of time you need to remember very clearly that put is for complete replacement one more difference between put and post is that put is item potent which means if you send the same put requested again and again you are going to get the same response and lastly put is not safe because it alters the state of resource on the server side so let's move to the next http next method is patch as i mentioned patch is used to partially update the resource so in this case if client wants to just update the surname of the student in that case he can send the patch request and payload can contain only the surname in which the server will update the entry into the backend systems which is database in this case and will send back the http status code back to client now one thing to note here is that patch apis or patch methods are not item potent the reason is that they can be item potent and there are certain scenarios where they are not for example now if you look at this scenario where we are updating the surname this call is item potent because we can execute this call many number of times and we would get the same result back but with this patch call we can also change many of the attributes you can delete the attributes and there are certain scenarios in which invoking the same page patch call can result in an error back to the client and that's the reason patch is not considered as item potent it is not safe either because we can change the state of resource on the server so i hope put and patch are clear to you now let's move to the next one the next one is options options is also not that frequently used as compared to the other http methods and it is used to get the list of options available as the name suggests for example in this case client will send this options http call to server and server in response it will return the allowed methods and other headers which are uh, which will help client to understand what are the allowed things on this particular uri these calls are item potent because we are going to get the same set of uh, options and safe because we are not changing anything on the server last http method that we are going to discuss is the delete as the name suggests it can be used to delete the resource from the server so client will initiates this delete call and then the server will remove the record from its backend application which is database in this case and it will send back 200 202 which is nothing but uh, which says the client that request has been accepted or 204 which says that no content was found so depending on the situation it will send back the response back to client again delete call is item potent because irrespective of how many times you try to delete a resource you are going to get the same kind of a response and lastly it is not safe because 
we are deleting the resource from the server. So that was a quick overview of HTTP methods and I hope that you will find it useful. If you do then do like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.